At South Africa, it has a new online portal to provide much-needed technology news. Hypertext Media recently launched their new website, htxt.africa, which simplifies both international and local technology stories and presents them in an African context. CNBC Africa's Zoli Mahawa recently caught up with the brains behind the site to find out why and how they developed it. HTXT.Africa is South Africa's newest tech news and information website aimed at telling both international and local technology stories in a simplified version to suit the African context. The focus is, is very much on um, the new and exciting technology. I mean, one, one of the things that was immediately apparent to me was that a lot of the writing about um, what I thought was most interesting technology in, in South Africa and, and again across the whole continent was being produced by websites overseas so you, you got some great features on things like TV white spaces coming from Wired um, and you got some great features on iHub and, and, and the tech movement in Kenya appearing in Engadget and things like that and, and so our focus is really on taking those stories and making sure that they're, they're, they're written locally that the, 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 the people who live here have a and ownership in, in the way that story is being told. The site is a combination of international and local content, which has been simplified and localized and made relevant for use by anyone. Our content is a mix of, of different things. I think, I think on the one hand, we do have a, a certain amount of time a day we spend um, looking at aggregation of international stories and I think you know th there is a, there is space to kind of look at what's happening overseas and say who's releasing what today and, 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 and work that out in a way that's appropriate for a South African audience but we try not to spend too much time on that and I think those stories we try to sort of condense down to a format that's as, as easily digestible and as quick to get through as possible and we always make an effort, we, we always ensure or not make an effort that we, we're linking to original sources and things. But when it comes to content, a lot of that information is available out there and you can read the same things in multiple places. What I like about this particular site is the way that they take that information, make it simple to, simple to read, don't put all the technology jargon that people don't understand and actually just simplify it and tell it what it is. And, and that's kind of really differentiate them. Since its launch, the website's focus has been solely on building up the readership rather than advertising. We've only been around for sort of five, five months or so. Um, so advertising hasn't been our, our um, uh, main focus. We're looking at building up readership and getting those stories out there. Now we are looking at other models. Uh, we're talking to um, agencies who, who can sell for our site. We're looking at um, uh, sort of distributed models and joining ad networks and things. Um, one thing we're not looking at especially is Google Ads. Um, it would be a nice fallback, but I think there's there are problems with that business model, particularly in a small market like South Africa. Hypertext Media prides itself in covering news stories on their htxt.africa site, much of which are nationwide exclusives. One, one of my proudest moments is that there is a, a guy up in Centurion who reinvented the 3D printer. He took the, the open source RepRap design, which is the, the one that's made 3D printing really popular across the whole world. Um, and back in June, he won $20,000 for redesigning it. He lives in Centurion and nobody else in the country has written about him other than us. You know, it's a great initiative. Um, you know, what we need in South Africa is nice content, nice information, which is locally relevant, has got the information that people on the street could actually use and actually understand. And the way that they write, the content that they cover is really, really good content. So we definitely need this to have more and more.